hey y'all welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is manaya girl go ahead and hit that subscribe button we do that real shit that pretty shit and we do it for real period if you are a returning babe hey girl i miss you i love you and i hope you are doing well y'all today is 12 what the fuck so y'all today is currently tuesday 12 27 22 period um, I'm currently outside of the beauty supply store right now because I need to grab some hair y'all get my hair done tomorrow I am so excited because y'all it's been so long since I got my hair done like y'all know I do my own hair most of the time So I'm so excited and yeah y'all this pretty much is going on so let's go Y'all I'm currently in here trying to find a color I don't know what I want to do but I know I don't want to do black so I'm just trying to get the vibe I'm thinking something like this burgundy or something. I don't know. What y'all think? Mm -hmm. Chop the roof in that smoke clear. I got diamonds to it, just be slashing both kids. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Something that I keep the quality in my shorty back. You know she wants a mom when she tattooed that ass. I'm a lover boy, she got a toy Keep it coming, you a rider Just that roll myself a day and count my figure shit Just that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit If I catch you not enough, then it's gon' be some shit What's up y'all, so I did make it back home As y'all just seen, I just finished doing laundry Y'all, I'm trying to go ahead and get ahead and start Cause y'all know, the new year is right around the corner right around the corner y'all know black household we cannot bring no dirty clothes into the new year so i'm trying to go ahead and get a head start on that but y'all let me show y'all what i got from the beauty supply store excuse my appearance okay i get my hair done well not my appearance excuse my hair because i'm looking pretty much decent everywhere else but excuse my hair I get my hair done tomorrow let me show y'all what i did besides to get i did this it's the two times expression pre-stretch braid i did the 48 inch then i got the free tris water wave hair y'all want to know this is in a color m1b bg it's like a cute burgundy and then this is in the color 530 it's the free tris water wave can y'all guess what style i'm gonna get can y'all guess so she told me to get three packs of these. I got four just in case. Because y'all know it's the worst feeling in the world when you getting your hair done and y'all run out of hair. Ugh, girl, no. Kidnots. And the New Year's coming. Mm -mm. So I got four packs of that. I got a comb. Every time I get my hair done, y'all, I always buy a comb. Like, I always buy a comb. It don't even matter. Like, if I'm going to get my hair braided, if I'm, I, I always buy a comb. It don't matter. Because that's just how I was raised. Like, my mama always taught me, come prepared. Because you do not want to stop your, you do not want to stop your appointment for nothing. So, yeah. Key tip, y'all. If y'all don't do that, you might want to start. <laughs> And y'all, I am excited about going to get my hair done because I have went to her before. But I'm excited because this time we're going to do a tray for tray type of thing. Y'all know I do lashes, hair, makeup, and she is really good at braids. So we decided, okay, let's try this tray for tray thing and see how it works. So this is going to be our first time doing it and I'm excited to really see how it works. Because y'all, I'm really all about supporting black businesses and trading and bartering. Like that's how it used to be back in the day. That's that's how my ancestors made it and it's just like why not money is not everything and it's like if i can bless you with my gift and you can bless me with yours why not do that like that's so dope to me so the other thing i got y'all is some rice brand oil i found this at the beauty supply store it looks like that and i was really excited that i found this because as y'all know i'm about to relaunch my business and i do offer skincare services and we use this in school i already know how it works i know how it feels and i get a very good reaction when i use this so i definitely wanted to bring it into my practice i love this for massage the slip on it is amazing to me and yeah i can't wait to use it to see how it works also got me some jojoba oil i just got the little hollywood beauty one because i really want to get back into studying oils and see the effects and benefits that they have on the skin and the hair so 
definitely want to use this i want to make a lip scrub today so i want to put this to the test baby and i have used jojoba oil before but only as like an oil by itself i want to see how it benefits and like a scrub and other products so y'all i also got me some grapeseed oil y'all this is what it looks like definitely excited to use this because i am going to wax and grapeseed oil is perfect to use after waxing it soothes the skin very well and y'all <laughs> y'all also had to pick me up some wild growth oil this is what it looks like honey if you know about this oil you know like i had to go back to my roots i started using this in 2018 and i haven't picked it up since so i definitely had to like i said go back to my roots because this really worked for me back in the day y'all so i just had to pull it back out my little archive out my toolbox and we about to put it back to use again because baby let me just show y'all and this is only my doing because y'all seen like when i took my locks out my hair was doing the best it was ever doing because i had not touched it it was put up y'all i done took my hair out and i've been going to i just been doing wrong you know how they go so i definitely wanted um to take the time and grow my hair back but y'all let me show y'all real quick and don't laugh because if y'all i'm telling y'all y'all better not laugh because when i grow these bitches back <laughs> i'm gonna have the last laugh but y'all for real look like i'm just showing y'all a before right now and it's not that bad but it's like you know when you done seen your edges flourishing and you you can't kind of you can't go back from that like once the once the process has already started you can't you can't you can't retreat like you gotta keep going gotta see it through my boy got to see it through yeah y'all i'm growing my edges back period okay all of this up i'm making me some breakfast right now so i'm just about to go finish making that and eat and chill so y'all it is currently later on in the day it's around five o'clock right now i actually just woke up from a nap and i'm just um watching some youtube i'm watching my girl tahana khan i love her like she is definitely a vibe love her videos so yeah y'all i'm just vibing out y'all it is so much that i need to be up and doing but I told myself one of these days, I'm going to just take the time to just lay my ass down and relax and actually enjoy my break from school. And I think today was that day, honey, because like I took a nap and babe, it, it was giving. It was very much so giving. So I'm going to probably chill right here for a little bit and get up, get some stuff done. I got to wash my hair. Y'all know I get my hair done in the morning. And I got to um, do some stuff for my business. Just making sure that I'm staying on track with everything because I have to stay organized. I have to stay consistent. Like, that's the only way I'm going to win, period. So, yeah, y'all. I just wanted to check in. See y'all later. I just came out to grab me some breakfast. I mean, some breakfast. <laughs> some dinner real quick. Y'all been having a taste for Zaxby's. So, I'm about to pull up on them real quick. See what it's giving. I already know they ass done went up so fucking much with these prices. But, baby, I want it. So, I'm going to pay for it today. And I hope that it's worth it. I hope that it's good. Y'all cannot stand when people pull up to you and be looking at you like dead in your, in your car. Like, that's so disrespectful. And I don't know, like, you trying to get my attention it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen and he's still staring like what the fuck but anyway i really feel like i need to do like some real meditating and journaling and just releasing just release some some of this energy that i've been feeling before the new year come in because i don't feel bad i just feel like i just feel up here and i kind of just want to be like here definitely the vibes i'm getting so y'all we got the food let me show y'all what we got i got the chicken finger plate buffed in hot honey mustard y'all this is one of my favorite meals from zaxby's i cannot wait to bust down i hope it's good period and then she got this is her toast chicken tenders fries wings the wings and things period can't wait to taste that I'm not gonna eat right now. I'm about to take me a little shot and then get started on washing my hair and preparing for my appointment in the morning. So I have me some Camarino, y'all. I really like this. And then I have me a Red Bull. This is the fig apple. Y'all, I'm putting y'all down. If y'all haven't tried this, try this, y'all. So freaking good. Girl, I was gonna make a drink, but I ain't gonna waste no cup because I don't even want that much. So we just gonna drink a little. 
take a little shot. So y'all, I'm definitely feeling good. I'm ready to wash my hair, do me some self-care, and just relax, rejuvenate. Y'all, excuse this little stain on my shirt. It's just some oil, honey, from earlier. I'm about to take down my little cornrows from when I took down my hair and just get ready to shampoo my hair, girl. Y'all, I cannot lie. I am so proud of my install with that, with that quick weave I did because... I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of nervous to take it out because last time I did that type of quick weave, y'all, I snatched out so much of my hair. Like, it just, it was a sad case. Like, my mama had helped me take it out. She was like, girl, you did a job on this. And I was like, girl, tell me about it. But y'all did so good this time. I really, um, oh, y'all, what's that? Um, I really feel like I could have used more more morning glory just to provide more of just to give more of a solid foundation but we gotta learn we gotta glow up some type of way so i'm gonna definitely implement that next time i told y'all earlier i do get my hair done in the morning so i'm just about to shampoo my hair i'm about to get right i'm gonna shave and everything y'all are looking for a good um moisturizing shave gel up and up from target it's good. It's very good. And I'll show y'all why in a video coming up. So stay tuned for that most definitely. My hair is kind of hard. And I think it's from that morning glory kind of seeping through the cap. So I'm going to definitely make sure I take my time and shampoo through this. Yeah, I definitely need a relaxer. Probably after I take these braids out, I'm going to um, go ahead and... I don't know if I'm going to give myself one or get one because, y'all, my stylist has went up so freaking much. And being honest, I do not know if I can afford her. And I'm the type of person, I don't like to get something started and be consistent with it. Like, even though I need to work on my consistency, that's kind of weird. But I don't like to, like, do memberships or start with appointments and stuff if I know I'm not going to be able to keep it up. So, I don't know. I'm kind of debating if I want if I want to do it, if I want to go to the Dominican so they can keep it up. Or just pay the money and go to her, but just don't go to her as often. And the last option is kind of sounding like no sense. I'm not going to lie. So, that's probably what I'm leaning more towards. About to wash my hair today, I'm using the OGX Purifying Plus Charcoal Detox Conditioner and Shampoo. Looks like this. Yeah, I told y'all I had a lot of buildup on my hair, so I definitely want to go in with this to um definitely just clear it out. I'm about to get braids in. Y'all, damn, this is not right here. I'm about to get braids, and I definitely just want my hair nice and clean for my install so i'm about to just go ahead and get myself together so like i told y'all earlier in this vlog i am working on growing my hair out and my edges back out so i'm just about to make me a oil really quick that i feel like will really help grow my hair back out this is two oils that separately have really grew my hair back out when i've used them consistently so i just want to combine them together in this little in this little bottle that i got from my beauty supply store y'all i'm really serious about growing my hair back out so i'm about to go ahead and mix this up period in here is already coconut jamaican black castor oil it's from the brand i believe sunny oil i have my hair grown fast wild growth oil and i'm just i'm probably about to go ahead and put I don't know, y'all. I'm going to pour it until Spirit tells me to stop. So, I'm going to do about that much. This is going to be my new concoction, y'all. I'm committing to using it every day. If I can, morning and night, honey. Like, I'm literally... I got to do this for myself. So, I'm going to start tonight after I wash my hair. And, yeah, y'all. If y'all want to... um. No, hold on, hold on. I was gonna say if y'all want to try it with me, but let me let me try it for a few months, few weeks, see what it do for me, and then we can check in with this. I 
y'all so it is currently the next day as y'all seen last night i just chilled out watch what we was watching watch first wives club and ate my food and then later on that night i had got my nephew for a little bit just to give my sister a break and now y'all i am up trying to get my ass to this hair appointment i don't even know where i'm going i have went to her before to get my hair done but i do not remember her address like that like or how to get there for real that's when i wasn't paying attention in life but now i do so i'm really i know what area it's in so i'm just heading towards the area and hopefully she takes me back because it's already like 9 50 and my appointment is at 10 but we cool with each other like we already have a rapport with each other so I don't think me being late is going to be like a big, big deal, but I still don't want to be late personally because I just don't like playing with people's time because I don't like people playing with my time. So yeah, y'all, I'm trying to get my ass on up the road, period. I just wanted to check in. I wanted to get Starbucks, y'all. I wanted to make today just like a whole self-care day, but I did not get up in time. But I really feel like I still can pull that off today. If she don't take me back by the time I get up here to her area, I'm going to stop by the Starbucks and try a little drink and snack with y'all. And just go with the flow, y'all. Go with the flow. Period. So, y'all, y'all, don't mind this do-rag. I'm on here looking like a damn fool, but I'm almost to my hair appointment. In so. 4.5 miles, take exit 15 onto State Route 280 and South Cobb Drive towards Smyrna. I'm on my way to a hair appointment, so not too much on that. But y'all, my stylist just called me, so I feel better, honey. But I ain't give a damn, y'all. I was on my way. I'm getting my hair done today, baby. Oh, this 18 wheeler is trying to be a billy. Y'all can't stand bullshit on the road. I cannot stand that. If you a bully bitch on the road, stop that shit because you put in your life and other people's life in danger, period. But y'all, she called me. And had gave me the address, so I'm definitely on my way. I'm glad I started heading this way because I'm not too far from it. I'm like 15 minutes out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up on the kid. I talked to her. I asked her if she want some Starbucks, um, her and her kids. Because baby, I'm already late, so you know I'm coming being and get this. <laughs> But um, she just said she wanted a cappuccino, so I'm gonna pick that up for her. Get us some breakfast before we get started on this hair. And yeah, y'all, it's gonna be a great day, period. Y'all, I made it to the Starbucks. Driving in Atlanta is so, uh, like I haven't been on the highway in a while. And girl, it's, it's just too much. The highway is like a war zone. People racing, trying to get places. It's just too much. Y'all, let me get back, let me get off this camera because I don't like the way I'm looking right now. Girl, I don't give a damn. But yeah, I'm at Starbucks. Y'all, today I'm gonna try Kyra's order with the matcha. And I'm just really excited. This Starbucks is so cute, y'all. Let me show y'all. It's so cute and quaint. It's just over here in the corner. It's just sitting off the highway, just vibing, period. Y'all, I made it to my hair appointment, thank God, because I can't go another second with this. <laughs> with this do-rag, I can't go another place. I can't do it. Don't get me wrong, y'all. I love do-rags, but like my hair being puffy and shit underneath, it's just not giving. But y'all, I got my Starbucks. So happy. Y'all spent $20, though. I'm about to look at this receipt and see what went left, girl. I got my girl, her baby. I got her a, um, a frappuccino. That was $6. I got my matcha. That was 5 I added vanilla. I added oat milk. The oat milk was $0.70. Cent. Cold foam was $1.25. Ham Swiss croissant was $4.45. 6 10 Six eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen Damn she is high Y'all this is my order I got the matcha let me tell y'all my exact order got the grande ice matcha latte i added vanilla i added oat milk and then i got vanilla cold foam on top i got this from kyra y'all i seen kyra have it and then i seen my girl glamazante try it so yeah and i read the benefits are really good so we're gonna try that i was gonna eat my sandwich before i go in but i think that's gonna be a bit selfish to be doing a little taste test and eating so i'm gonna go ahead and just do this and go ahead and get my butt on in there. I'm gonna mix it. Have you seen that means the Mix it in. Shit, y'all. This is really fucking good. 
What? Miss. <laughs> happy i love when i find new good stuff yeah this is so good this is so freaking good it's no dairy and it's good for you period i'm excited let me go get my hair done <laughs> so y'all i am oh shit i'm so loud <laughs> so y'all i am back i did get my hair done i'm on my way home now y'all she moved so quick like it's currently 4 28 i just came from the gas station um just preparing for my ride home y'all it says i have a 53 minute ride so yeah love my hair i'm gonna show y'all a better look at it i get to the house but y'all this is something different this is something new for me the color the style everything but i'm gonna I'm give it a shot bitch i'm gonna give it a try see what it's giving i'm gonna come back up here tomorrow to do her lashes y'all wasn't even thinking i should have just put the stuff in the car today but literally i'm so used to being with her all day when we do my braids that was just automatically my thought process like okay we're not gonna finish in time to be getting our lashes done and i'm the type of person if i'm getting the service done i don't want to turn around and have to do a service or whatever i want that to be like my treatment time like my time you know to get myself together get my thoughts together and everything so it's okay like i told y'all before it's my first time doing a trade for trade so i find my way with it period currently headed back to my side of town i think i'm gonna stop no, i said i was gonna stop in walmart today but it's already 4 30 and i don't think that'd be a good move because y'all i do not like people in my way when i'm trying to look i don't mind like of course people gonna be in the store but y'all know rush hour time people getting off of work it just be like a different type of energy everybody be in a rush trying to look and i'm i don't like to keep saying excuse me and all that oh, shit so <laughs> i'm gonna wait till probably in the morning most likely and get my butt up and go because i have to finish these last few things for my business to relaunch y'all i'm really determined to i'm sorry about the lighting y'all the sun is behind me but y'all, I am really determined to get this business open and running because I have to do this for myself. Like I have, this has been my dream for so long to have something to call my own and to give back through what I love, which is beauty and wellness. Like I have to do this. I have to do it. And as I was writing down my to-do list, y'all, I'm not going to lie. I was getting a little anxiety, but I just prayed against it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep praying against it because I was made for this. I'm getting this done. Like, it's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So, that's just that on that. I'm head on home, and I'm really trying to figure out what I want to eat. I was thinking about that while I was in the chair. Like, to eat. I don't know. And I need to clean my car. I need to put my new stuff up that I got for my car. I got um this new, like, the little phone holder thing so I can record while I'm driving and be a little bit more safe <laughs> yeah I don't know uh, Zaxby's is popping up in my head again because I didn't get a chance to really enjoy it yesterday how I wanted but then again it's like do I really want to do that so I'm gonna see how I'm feeling and then I was thinking about Jamaican food but then that's like not on my side and then it's like twenty dollars a plate. Y'all know I already spent twenty dollars at Starbucks this morning. I'm not trying to spend the twenty dollars. It might be giving American Deli. Low key. I'll see y'all later. It's got me too excited. y'all i just love zaxby's um getting me some food and i just had like one of the worst experiences customer service wise like the girl was so nasty i'm like do y'all have tap she like she like yeah and just like that she like yeah i said um she just looking at me i'm waiting for her to pull the damn machine out the window because that's usually what people do when they have tap at fast food restaurants and um she just looking at me i'm looking at her i said well do you need my phone and i wasn't nasty i was just talking i was like do you need my phone and she was like yeah and so i give her my phone i said oh, okay 
And so I give her my phone. I'm looking at her stupid because y'all know with tap, you have to like put your fuck, which you have to put your fingerprint in. And she's staring at me because the fingerprint thing pop up. And she's like, oh, it's not one of those. And I'm like, no, I was wondering how you were going to put my fingerprint in. And I like laugh it off a little bit because you're really looking stupid right now. She's like, uh, she do it again. It, it work or whatever. And she give me back my phone. And I'm like, thank you. Or whatever and I get get my food and I see that my sauce is missing and so I'm looking at her like well, she's right there she didn't move from the window I'm not gonna blow my horn or whatever because you see me and so she like oh uh, she opened a window and like and I said can I trade this for another ranch and sauce whatever and I was like thank you have a good one and just slammed the window girl and stuff like that I'm so glad I'm growing like stuff like that is so fine that's dandy because one I'm not downplaying nobody hustle, but it's just like you you working at Zaxby's and you have this nasty ass attitude. You look young. Sure you don't want to be working at Zaxby's for the rest of your life. So why not have a positive attitude? You don't know who's in that window. You don't know who you're gonna meet. So girl, it was just like so I'm just saying this to say if y'all working fast food, work anywhere, keep your attitude good. Keep that shit cute. Like if you're not feeling it, call out. I'm a proud believer in calling out. I do not give a fuck. Tell them you do not feel good because if you're going to go there and treat the customers bad and treat them with neglect and a nasty energy, you've done everybody a disservice that day. You've done more of a good thing by staying at home, period. I'm proud of myself because I didn't, I didn't give it to her, y'all. Like, I, I didn't give it to her ass. I really didn't because the, the energy she was giving was looking like she wanted to jump through the window, child. But I just kept it real cute because my mama taught me and it's still really teaching me because i still have my moments be an example be an example because sometimes people need to see you don't have to be nasty you don't have to be rude you can you can be out here and be cool and still you know have your guard up and protect your energy and protect yourself i'm passing through my old neighborhood right now it's always a nice vibe um coming through here even though y'all just heard the sirens and all of that this is my home so it's just always a it's a cool thing to visit you know right through here y'all i just finished eating my food definitely was hitting period this is my hair y'all it is so cute it is so different to me and i'm just excited to wear it i hope that it lasts through the gym and everything but it's just giving very much you know fun mermaid cute you know and hopefully um yeah like i said it holds up but what i was gonna say girl i don't know i don't know what i was gonna say but i'm about to clean up my room right now y'all like i said i just finished finish eating and i'm about to um just get my room together y'all if y'all see my room y'all would be like girl y'all probably can see it a little bit in the back i have to get my space together i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it together i'm gonna light a candle um because i want to have a little smoke sesh smoke some hookah and just vibe out um i'm gonna make me a little drink as well so period so yes y'all those are definitely the vibes definitely the vibes y'all feeling this hair so much i'm just feeling like a baddie because i'm so sick of black hair and i finally got out of it finally tried something new finally tried something new i'm a lit girl <laughs> So y'all, my room is. So y'all here, I was trying to show y'all that I got a chance to clean up my room, <laughs> but I ended up recording a slow-mo, but y'all, that was my makeup, little stand, my bed, got my spiritual area together, the dress and everything, and it was just a nice vibe. Y'all, this is the end of this video. I hope y'all enjoy. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy. Thank y'all so much for watching. Peace and love. I will see y'all in my next video. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh, yeah. I spilled all my emotions tonight. I'm sorry.